Hey guys, uh, I want to talk today about the autobiography of Geronimo. Uh, this, I don't have a copy, I read this as an ebook, so um, I'm just going to talk about it. Uh, so, Geronimo, as many Americans probably know, some non Americans may know, um, was a, an Apache war leader whom the United States government spent many years trying to capture. Um, he led a lot of ra led a lot of raids on American towns and baggage trains and what have you, and um, evaded the United States government for for a long time. Uh, and this was written um, after he'd been captured as a, was taken as a prisoner of war and was living in Florida. Um, so this was um, it's kind of a interesting story behind why this got written. So S.M. Barrett, the guy who actually wrote this, uh, had sort of become friends with Geronimo. Um, Barrett didn't speak Apache and Geronimo didn't speak English, but uh, they had an interpreter there and they kind of got to know each other. And for a long time, S.M. Barrett wanted Geronimo to tell his life story because S.M. Barrett thought it would be a good story to get out into the public to raise awareness for um, the mistreatment of Native Americans and things like that. But for a long time, Geronimo wouldn't wouldn't tell him his life story, and in order to convince him, S.M. Barrett had to write to the president, who was Theodore Roosevelt at the time, and ask him if he would like to hear Geronimo's story. And Theodore Roosevelt wrote a letter to Geronimo saying, yes, I would like to hear his story, and that is what convinced Geronimo to tell S.M. Barrett his life story. And um, so Geronimo dictated this to Barrett because he didn't know English um, and uh, through an interpreter. And so it <clears throat> is both his autobiography, but it's also about the Apache nation and uh, sort of their way of life. And it actually opens with the creation story of the Apache, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so we get some insight along the way into Apache customs. Um, we learn how important uh, war is to them. It's kind of, war is a very religious uh, act for them. Um, they have sort of a whole ritual around war. Um, but the part I parts I found most interesting were about Geronimo and his life. So he, was given, he had really good reasons to hate both Mexicans and the United States. Um, when he was in his late 20s, about 29, I think, the a Mexican, while he and uh, the warriors in his band were away, they left the women and children alone. Um, while they were away on a trading mission, Mexican, a band of Mexicans came and killed uh, several, a lot of women and children in their town, but in particular for Geronimo, his wife, his three children, and his old mother. So, um, he really hated Mexicans. Uh, to, on his deathbed, he said that he could never find it in his heart to reconcile himself with Mexican people. So he just had a lifelong hatred of Mexicans. Um, America, uh, basically stabbed the Apache in the back at one point. Uh, there was uh, a major Apache leader named Mangus Colorado who uh, started deliberating with some Americans and the Americans wanted him to go and treat with them and told them that they would be allowed to live on a reservation and things. So Mag Mangus Colorado took a, a good portion of the Apache, of his, of his particular sub-tribe of the Apache to go and live on this reservation. And Geronimo stayed behind with another big portion of the band and uh, they never heard back from Mangus, Colorado and uh, they found out later that he was uh, killed by the Americans there. So yeah, definitely you get the sense that even though Mexicans, um, Mexicans raid the Apache, they attack the Apache just like Americans but it was the Americans who used these sort of backstabbing tactics, these below the belt tactics. And so you, you definitely get a sense that they are, even though the Mexicans still fought the Apache, the Americans are kind of the ones who do the real 
Uh, you know. Anyway, you get the idea. So, um, definitely. So, a lot of this book is about the wars that Geronimo fought. A lot of his raids on the Mexicans, the Mexicans raids on him, um, his uh, raids on the Americans, his uh, being chased by the Americans, um, and you definitely just get a sense of how big a part of his life war was. Um, like I said, the war kind of had a religious aspect for the Apache, so it was probably a big part of their lives. Um, and then it also, after his capture at, near the end, it talks a bit about his life on the reservation. And he talks about going to the World Fair, where he, I guess, was actually a, on display. Um, so, and then he talks a bit about religion and his conversion to Christianity in the reservation. Um, so I found this to be, I found it, found this to be exciting reading. It was entertaining reading about all the different raids and his, uh, attempt to escape from the United States. Uh, but, you know, it made me kind of sad at the end, you know, just because Geronimo says that his one great hope is that the Apache... Uh, would be allowed to return to Arizona, which is where they're originally from. They had been taken out of Arizona and were living in uh, f first Florida, then I think Oklahoma, and uh, weren't living in Arizona at the time. And I still don't think the Apache have been able to return to Arizona, um, if what I looked up on the internet is correct. Um, and it's also... You know, he talks about his conversion to Christianity, and he talks about how much he thinks it's wonderful, but you have to kind of mourn the loss of the traditional Native American culture that happens when people convert to Christianity. Um, so, um, and just in general, you know, he, he seemed to kind of hope that eventually the United States would right its, the wrongs it did to Native Americans and I don't think we've done such a good job of that. I mean, poverty, suicide, alcoholism, substance abuse are still so rampant in Native American communities. Um, so if you're interested in the history of the United States subjugation of Native Americans, this would be good reading. It's again, really short. I read it in one day. Um, it gives some insight into Apache culture and Apache customs, which is interesting. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys.